Korok Cat vs British Shorthair Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Move over, rabbit's foot. The Korok is a living good luck charm in his home country of Thailand, where he is also known as the Sisawat Cat. The silver blue cats with emerald green eyes are said to date to the 14th century based on their depiction in ancient literature. They were popular gifts, always presented in pairs, and had special meaning when given to brides because of their association with prosperity and fertility. The name Korok comes from the region in northeast Thailand where the cats are thought to have originated. It's unclear when Korots first came to the West. A cat that resembled a Korot was exhibited at a show in England in 1896, but whether it was truly a Korot, pronounced Korot, or simply a self-blue Siamese, meaning solid-colored, is not known. You may not realize it, but you probably grew up with the British short hair. He is the clever feline of Puss in Boots and the grinning Cheshire Cat of Alice in Wonderland. The British short hair is native to England. With the rise of cat shows during the Victorian era, cat fanciers began to breed the cats to a particular standard and keep pedigrees for them. At the earliest cat shows, British short hairs were the only pedigreed cats exhibited. All others were simply described by coat type or color. Two world wars devastated the breed, and few British short hairs remained after World War II. With the help of other breeds, the short hairs, as they are called in Britain, were revitalized. The American Cat Association recognized the British short hair in 1967, but the Cat Fanciers Association did not accept it until 1980. Now, all cat associations recognize the breed. With his silver tipped blue coat and huge green eyes, as sparkling as the dewdrops on a lotus leaf, the Korat is one of Thailand's most beautiful exports. He is noted as well for his heart shaped head, large ears, and alert expression. A Korat's eyes are blue at birth. As he matures, the eyes turn to amber the pupil surrounded by a fringe of the green. By the time the cat is two to four years old, the eyes have become the brilliant green for which the breed is known. The short single coat has hairs that are a light blue at the roots, then deepen, ending in a silver tip, producing a halo effect. Unlike some breeds, the coat has its silver blue color from the time kittens are born, although kittens may have what are known as ghost tabby markings. These should disappear with maturity. The Korat's nose leather, lips, and paw pads range from dark blue to lavender. With his short, thick coat, round head and cheeks, big round eyes, and rounded body, the British short hair resembles nothing so much as a cuddly teddy bear. His body is compact but powerful with a broad chest, strong legs with rounded paws, and a thick tail with a rounded tip. The coat comes in just about any color or pattern you could wish for, including lilac, chocolate, black, white, pointed, tabby, and many more. The best known color is blue, gray, and the cats are sometimes referred to as British blues. The short hair does not reach full physical maturity until he is 3 to 5 years old. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The smart and opinionated Korat is possessive of his people. He likes to stay close by and won't desert them for visitors. He gives his heart to one or two people whose company he prefers, or with whom he spends the most time, but he's certainly willing to accept affection from others as well. Be aware of this propensity before you get a Korat, just in case having a cat follow you around all the time would drive you crazy. A Korat is not a loner. He does best with companionship, whether that is someone who works at home or another animal. There's a reason, it seems, that traditionally they were always given in pairs. A Korat who is frequently left alone or ignored may develop behavior problems such as aggression or separation anxiety. That's not to say that adult Korats can't switch their affections. Cats placed in new homes quickly adapt and bond closely with their new family. This is an energetic cat who enjoys learning tricks, playing fetch, and even walking on a leash. It's easy to teach household rules to the Korat if you reward him with petting, a happy good cat or a treat. Limit corrections to a loud no. Or hand clap. If you have multiple cats, be sure you have plenty of toys to go around. The Korat did not learn to share in the kitty garden, and he can be stubborn about giving up toys or other objects that he views as his. Although he can be bold with definite likes and dislikes, the Korat is generally a quiet cat who likes a quiet environment. Although he's not known for being talkative, he is capable of making many different sounds, from a chirp to a scream, when he wants to get his point across. Choose the Korat if you enjoy having a lap cat. He will be pleased to fulfill this desire any time you like. The British short hair is mellow and easygoing, making him an excellent family companion. He enjoys affection, but he's not a me, me, me type of cat. Expect him to follow you around the house during the day, 
settling nearby wherever you stop. Full of British reserve, the short hair has a quiet voice and is an undemanding companion. He doesn't require a lap, although he loves to sit next to you. Being a big cat, he isn't fond of being carried around. This is a cat with a moderate activity level. He's energetic during kittenhood but usually starts to settle down by the time he is a year old. More mature British shorthairs are usually couch potatoes, but adult males occasionally behave like goofballs. When they run through the house, they can sound like a herd of elephants. British shorthairs are rarely destructive, their manners are those of a proper governess, not a soccer hooligan. They welcome guests confidently. The Karat's short single coat requires little grooming. Comb it weekly to remove any dead hairs. A bath is rarely necessary. The British short hair short, smooth coat is simple to groom with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hairs. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, Wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene. It's a good idea to keep a Korat and British short hair as an indoor only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Karats will appreciate the attention of a child who treats them respectfully, and they enjoy playing and learning tricks. With proper supervision, they can be a good companion for children. Like many cats that originated in Southeast Asia, Karats tend to prefer other Karats. They can get along with other cats, and with dogs, but they expect to have pride of place. This may or may not go over well with other animals. The Korat likes to have company, however, and if he spends a lot of time with another cat or dog, they will likely become close friends. This mild-mannered cat is well suited to life with families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect, and is forgiving of clumsy toddlers. Supervise young children and show them how to pet the cat nicely. Instead of holding or carrying the cat, have them sit on the floor and pet him. Other cats will not disturb his equilibrium. For best results, always introduce any pets, even other cats, slowly and in a controlled setting. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.